program due to the scientific uh, workshop in the memory of uh, Maria Petro, that uh, with the board of directors of uh, CERF and the uh, researchers of uh, Information Technologies uh, Institute are organizing today. Uh, we thought that it's a very good idea today. It's actually, uh, we are actually in actually two years after uh, the uh, after her uh, passing away, and uh, we would like uh, in her memory and to honor her memory by presenting her scientific work and by inviting here some of uh, her colleagues, uh, which uh, work with whom they see her work together. Uh, from a scientific point of view, but with whom uh, she also had very good uh, friendly relationships, I would say. Uh, and uh, starting, I would like to, to invite uh, the president uh, of the board of directors of CERF, uh, uh, Dr. Thanasi Kostatopoulos, to say a few words uh, for Maria. <laughs> Good morning. I would also like to welcome you to this event. I was thinking last night that it's already it's been two years. For me, it's also a very difficult concept to grasp how these two years have passed. So, if you allow me, since I have not been working with here scientifically and we did not have all the time that we wanted to grow a friendship that had started, I only knew Maria as a colleague in our board and as a very strong and very sensitive person, I would like to give you my personal, let's say, note on how I remember her and how I would like to remember her. Maria was very well known for her scientific work. She has, and I'm sure we'll hear all this great mathematical transformations that allow one to look at images, but she had also a very you know, broad personality. One of these personality aspects that she had was to write in a blog that had this very interesting title in Greek, Oxenopatragos. I think in English, due to her very unique sense of humor, could have meant either the foreign frog or the strange frog, or whichever it would be. I used to read this. I actually, you know, uh, learned about it by accident. She never told me that she was writing that blog. And uh, there are several pieces that I still go back to read. One of these is that piece that was written in April, almost six months before he passed away, talking about death and uh, and she talks about how the different species are born and how many baby turtles are born and only just a few of them make it through the beach to the sea, and how many uh, fish are born. And she was posing that question as an engineer. Why whoever made all this system did not make it efficiently? What is the efficiency in having only 1% of the baby turtles surviving? How could this happen in, in this nature? And at the end, she says, now I know why this happens. This happens because by knowing about death, you cling on to life and you try to make the most out of it. And this is here a conclusion that always I have in my mind that I would like to share with you. So I think, because we did not have the chance maybe to say a last goodbye and say something, I would like to leave you with a song that whenever I hear it, I, her memory always comes to my mind. And the song says, Will the wind ever remember the names it has blown in the past? And will this scratch its own age and its wisdom, it whisper, No, this will be the last. And the wind cries merry.
these words say it all, and um, I thank very much Panasi for putting this up. It's very, it's very appropriate. It's very... <coughs> and um, all I have to add, add is that I met uh, Maria Petru in, uh, um, in the board of directors of uh, CERF, and uh, I collaborated with her for uh, a few years. Uh, before her passing away, and um, I have uh, the best of memories um, of her integrity, of her uh, work ethic, and I think that uh, she has uh, added to us uh, a lot. I'm very grateful to her, and I just uh, want to remember her as one of our active and most productive members of the board. <coughs> thank you, Maria, and thank you all for being here, especially our guests from abroad. Thank you.